Today, we'll be discussing a Reddit post from our relationships about beans. City shorts. All right, you've got it queued up. Let me have it. All right, so this version is actually on r slash today I fucked up. Today I fucked up by demanding that my girlfriend show me where she buried our beans in the woods, causing her to break up with me. (laughs) I admit I posted a version of this on the relationship subreddit the other day, but they closed it with no explanation. I assume because they just decided it was fake. I can see how they might think that, but this is a true thing that happened and is happening. (laughs) And now there is more to it because I actually got broken up with over it. With all that is going on, we had stocked up on supplies. Wait, when was this made when they say with all that is going on? Two years ago. Okay, right. Yeah, this was very early in the pandemic. Mm. With all that is going on, we had stocked up on supplies, including some canned goods. I ordered a few weeks ago 30 cans of beans. 10 are black beans, 10 are kidney beans, and 10 are pink beans. Also, I ordered 15 cans of chickpeas. I thought this is a reasonable amount of beans and chickpeas to have every now and then, and would last for quite some time. However, earlier this week I opened the cabinet because I wanted to make a vegetarian chili using two cans of beans. But all of the beans were gone. What the hell? I asked my girlfriend and she told me she buried all of the beans in the woods. (laughs) At first I thought she was joking, but she explained no, she had buried the beans in the woods. WTF! I asked her to explain, and she told me she was afraid that, quote, if things get bad, we might have to worry about, quote, looters or whatever, and that the beans would be in danger of being stolen. I said I thought this was completely ridiculous and unlikely. She became angry at me and said she is, quote, protecting our beans. (laughs) According to her logic, the beans are safely buried in the woods behind our apartment complex. And if we ever need some beans, she will go to the stash and dig up a can or two, but would prefer if we save them all for if things get worse. I ask, why only bury the beans? Why not bury our more valuable items? She said the canned food was most valuable for long-term means, and that since we get fresh food in our online grocery deliveries, it would make sense to continue to stockpile beans. Continue to stockpile them. She intends to go bury more beans in the woods every week. Well, that's where this becomes insane. (laughs) I also wonder what kind of secondary container these cans of beans are in because otherwise it might corrode. Yeah, contact with the wet earth does not seem like a good plan. The okay, burying the beans in the first place is one thing. That's like the amount of crazy that thinking there's sediment in your urine is, but then. Saying, I have to continue doing this every week indefinitely, building up a bean stockpile, a incredible bean bean stockpile. stockpile. Yeah. This was too insane for me, and I got very upset. (laughs) I demanded to know where the beans were buried, and she refused to tell me. She said if I knew, she was afraid I'd dig them up. I said, damn right I would. (laughs) She said, quote, I will never jeopardize the beans. I will never jeopardize the beans. The following day, I tried to put my foot down. And I'm not usually a foot downer, but there are rare issues where compromise is out of the question. And I foolishly decided this was one of those issues. I demanded to know where the beans were buried. And I told her if she was going to bury beans I paid for in the woods that I would move out. We fought about it and I kept insisting. In hindsight, I should have just let it go and created my own hidden stash of beans in the apartment (laughs) and given her time to maybe cool down about this bean burying scenario, but I blew it all out of proportion. Yeah, it's weird to bury beans in the woods, but why did I have to press it? What's the harm at the end of the day in the grand scheme of things? But I kept demanding her to take me to the beans or at least draw a map or something. And finally, she broke up with me over the beans. I have lost the love of my life because I couldn't let the damn beans go. I am in disbelief. She moved out. Not only am I heartbroken, but I am now paying full rent instead of 50%, which is a huge financial issue for me. (laughs) Okay. I have two standing questions here. One is now that she's broken up with him, 
and she has moved out. Are the beans still in the woods behind this residence? Or did she dig them up when she left? Great or question. Or did she tell him where they were before she... Clearly, clearly she didn't tell him. She, I don't think she So told she either so, b- dug them up or they're still there to this day. So there's a TLDR. And the TLDR is, I kept demanding that my girlfriend show me where she buried the beans in the woods. And she got so angry at me that she ended our relationship and moved out. My heart is shattered and my finances are jeopardized because of a bean hoard. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are actually offers in the comments. Like, if you tell me where you are, I'll bring my metal detector and we'll go find those oh, beans. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. Which really sounds like a way for looters to get at your bean hoard. Yeah. That's her greatest fear is him is, getting duped yeah. like this. This, this is, is why just she, what she didn't want to tell him for. about the beans. Yeah. yeah. And then my other thing that I can't get by here, his claim, in hindsight, I should have just let it go and created my own <laughs> hidden stash of beans in the apartment. Why was his solution to this, his ideal solution, that he should have had an additional secret bean stash? Well, that does make sense to me. If if what he was thinking is, I would like to have a lot of beans in the house so that I can cook food with the beans and not have to go to the grocery store during a pandemic, but any beans that I bring into the house will get taken into the yard and buried, and I will never be able to cook with beans again. So (laughs) the only solution he could envision, even after the fact, is I would have to secretly obtain other beans and hide them from her so that she can't hide them from me so that I can have access to beans. I just don't understand what... Like, couldn't he have said, listen, you can bury as many as you want, but we need to, we want to eat them too. So we should have some in the house. You would say you can bury as many as you want, because that's also. What is the amount she thinks is the maximum amount that is reasonable to bury? Because we could just get a little more beans than that and have beans in the house as well without having to have a second, second secret stash. What do you think I've buried in our yard? Uh, Well, it had never occurred to me that you would have buried anything in our yard. (laughs) Well, now that I've planted that seed in your mind, what do you think I've buried in our yard? Not any beans. Well, if I were going to be hoarding something as buried treasure, what do you think it would be? Horse paste. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. What if I bury some ivermectin in our yard? I mean, what would you bury if you thought, you know what? Things are deteriorating. We need to bury a cache of supplies. What would you bury and where? Huh. Thing is, it sounds like she just threw this in dirt, like you mentioned earlier. Like you'd have to have it in some sort of- You'd get like a plastic tub. Plastic tub, So yeah. let's say one huge plastic storage tub. What would you put in that? One million CD coin. Uh, <laughs> for- for the apocalypse. Good plan. Yeah. A bunch of NFTs of our cat. I don't know, probably some fucking wool socks, man. I mean, what are the things that you think when people break in here, they're going to take from us, but not harm us? Like, we'll still be able to, you like, they're not going to murder us. That's the thing, is if people break into your house to get your beans, they're not leaving you alive afterwards, I don't think. Yeah. Society has broken down at that <laughs> point, and- Having a few cans of beans buried in the backyard is not, not going to be the solution. You. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we know the right thing to bury in your backyard, which is a large arsenal. But then you'd want to keep the arsenal inside your house to protect the beans in the first place. Mm. I don't know why the proposed solution wasn't... Buy a bunch of guns to protect the beans, but keep the beans in the house. Yeah. Well, I was going to say... Booby trap. Booby, a Home Alone yeah. style booby trap of the house to prevent... I mean, it, it could even be, you know, the... um moment in home alone where that paint can swings and hits yeah. the burglars you could have a setup where the bean where the cans like drop on their heads or swing from some sort of rope yeah great or idea. superheated in some way mm-hmm. and scald them dear listener we will never jeopardize the beans bye city shots 